What's up, everybody? It's Flip Trick, uh, back again with Rainbow Moon. Um, if you watched the past videos, you saw that I got stuck at a point. I needed to grind quite a bit of XP. So since then, I've leveled up. Right now, I'm level six. Um, the stats have raised quite a bit. I almost have 100 health, 30 strength, 30 defense, 24 speed, and 33 luck. The wannabe heroes that used to do like 40 damage or something to me only do like 6 now, so. And if I'm defending, it's like 1 to 2 damage. So, I'm able to talk to this guy now, um, but before I do that, I found something I wanted to show off. I found a way to grind, or unlock a, a trophy pretty easily. If I can get into a, a quick fight. Alright, so we're going to move up, let them finish, uh, I went ahead and picked up the x-ray review skill, and you can see now it's level 49, um, it doesn't take a sub turn to use, and as you level it up it unlocks more and more uh, information about the enemy, like right now we'll use it, it gives me their elemental type, their health, their magic, and then some of their stats, it's pretty useful. Um, like right now it's at uh, 230 of 1050. I think the trophy's for getting it to level 50, but we're going to use it this time. I'll skip through all that. And now it's at 320. So you can actually just sit here and do this for as much mana as you can as you can do. Uh, so I'm just going to finish this up and unlock that trophy real quick. Um, it takes one, one mana to use, so it's pretty quick. What I did was actually just get into a fight that I knew I could handle and just do this for a couple minutes until I ran into mana and then just meleeed the enemies away. Or you could escape after that. And then just go to the healer and start over again. So we're at 9.50 now, so I think this turn will actually level it up. Oh, one more. Alright, there's the level up trophy. I don't know what the level cap on these spells are. I thought it would be 50, but... That's enough of that. I'm actually just going to escape out of this fight. I just want to show that to everybody real quick. I thought that was pretty pretty helpful. I'm sure it would come with time if you didn't want to get it out of the way quickly, but I thought I might as well do that early. And I... I did already kill these guys, so I wanted to make sure I was able to do it before I started recording again. So, they're dead. And we'll talk to this guy. You don't want to defeat me? You came to help me? And who are you? Baldrin. Thank you so much, Baldrin. You totally made my day. As you can see, I was completely trapped in here. I was looking for cover during the big storm while I was on my way to Ed Orable, and suddenly the mines were flooded by all kinds of creatures. Those weird guys here didn't let me go. I tried to escape several times, but those stupid monster heroes seem to love battling. Thanks a lot, Baldrin. I really appreciate that. Finally, I can leave these dirty mines. I have to return to Casser, Sasser, Casser, Casser Village now. I guess they're all worried about me now. By now, here's my axe and some rainbow coins for you. That's all I have at the moment. Oh, that is fine. Fortnite item may be. Maybe this will help you leave Rainbow Moon. Okay, so I guess I can't use it. What? Oh, really? Baldrin, that's the weirdest story I've ever heard. Hey, there's a trophy. Uh, so you're helping me out because you're looking for a way to leave the moon? I'm so sorry, but that's quite impossible. You think there must be a way? If you really think so, then you should talk to Ed Orable. Maybe he can help you. At least he knows a lot of people, so maybe he has an idea. Go to Ed, you'll find him in the east of Castor Village. I really have to leave now? Thank you so much again for your help, Baldrin. Maybe I can return the favor someday. Just one more thing. There's a shortcut back to the entry in the southwest of this room. This way, you're back in no time. See ya. Okay. South Road to the very happy that you came to his rescue. Obviously, he doesn't have any information about the portal system or a way back to, to your home destination. But he tells you to talk to Ed Orable again. Maybe he 
he might know some people that can help. Okay, can I use this axe that he gave me? No, I can't. Where's it at? Strange. Oh, there it is. Under key items. I didn't know I could scroll down. So, hopefully, I can do something with that soon. I'm gonna go ahead and skip that fight for now. I just wanna see if we can get out of here. Pull this lever, see what this does. There's another savant down there. Uh, the only skills I can raise right now is my HP, and I don't. Uh, I guess I can up at one. No, we'll do that. Yes, goodbye. Yes. Now, a lot of people have said that there are some items on the PlayStation Store that increased. I didn't want to leave there. That's not what I wanted to do. They could in increase your like. XP rate, rate and stuff like that. Um, I considered using those, but I don't want to actually. I don't want to. I don't know. I feel like cheating almost. I want to play through it for real, so I don't want to buy any of those boosting items. Those are available and they are pretty cheap, but I want to. I want to play it legit. It sucks I have to walk all the way through this again. I want to find that key so I can fight that boss. <laughs> do, do, do. Almost there. Up the staircase this time. Oh, that just what? Well, that was weird. How do I get the key? I didn't mean actually get into this fight. So let me get on that real quick. I didn't know that was just a big square. Is there a, a map anywhere? There it is. Is there anywhere I didn't go? Oh, just that room I can't open. That's a weird map system. It's strange, it just goes on forever. Well, okay then. I guess we'll find this adorable guy. Since I'm here, I might as well heal up a little bit. It's been a little while since I've played this, so I don't actually remember where everything is. There you are. Perfect. Holy cow. Sarathrod was caught in the mines by monsters. Thanks a lot for helping us out. So you're looking for help on how to leave Rainbow Moon. I'm not aware of a way. But listen, if there's any person on the moon who might know this, it's definitely Tondurist. He's an old old and wise man who lives in Urin in the city of Orod. That's a huge continent to the west. You'll need a boat and set your course for the west. Oh, and by the way, if you meet Trisha, she's looking for a way to Orod too. So I'm sure she'll join you. Talk to the people in Cassia Village. I'm sure they'll help. They can help you. Take care. Okay, so I need to find a ladder so I can talk to that guy. And I need a key. I would assume I'd be able to find a key before leaving this island.
Maybe I can give that axe to the blacksmith guy in the town, and maybe he'll trade it for a key or something. Can I get around these guys? Whatever, let's kill them. I'm trying to make this video a little less boring, I'm trying to get through stuff a little bit quicker. Oh, I can turn on those shoe rings too. I finally got a, I have a ton of those now. I'm like the grinding I was doing in the caves. So I can turn in that side quest. Welcome. Every single night on Rainbow Moon, there's such a beautiful blue glow everywhere. What do you say? Too dark? If you really think so, why don't you buy some torches from my item shop? Sometimes at night I just sit on my bench and watch the magical moon glow, it's so beautiful. Alright. I think it was this guy. Have you found Southard with his axe? Okay, perfect. Deliver wanted items. Have you found him? That's great. And that's indeed Sarathrod's legendary axe. This must be a dream. See, trees are falling like matches now. Hey, I might start liking you. Anyway, take this. It could be a challenge. Give me a key. Give me a key. Ah. Right. I still haven't found out what food is for. But, whatever. Talk to this guy again. Give me my stuff. Small turtle, what's I gonna do? An item that increases your defense permanently? Well, that's cool, I guess. That's not what I wanted at all, though. Hello. Have you got the three sheer wings from the bees? Yes, I have. You can do try and help us. Maybe you're not that bad. Thanks, here's your reward. Daily grind armor. Need three more defense. <laughs> See you. See if that's better than what I have. Lose actually five luck and five HP, so that's my hat. I lose one luck for three defense. So what do I do that? I think that's worth it. I can put two upgrades into that, so I'll do that later. Thought I saw somebody with a quest somewhere. There he is. Was it her? I wanted to talk to her. Last night a terrible monster came out of this well exactly at midnight. There are rumors that you were involved in this whole thing. I know you're looking for a boat to it can't be urine. It has to be, though. Is it urine? We're gonna call it urine, because I'm not saying urine for the rest of the game. So here's the deal. I'll give you the harbor key when you kill this beast. This way we can be sure on our side here for it. Glad you're in. There's no one on the tail. The beast is clever and won't probably show up all around. Or when we're all around. But when we pour some poison into that well, I'm sure it'll come out. Poison flask was stolen by thieves. I'm sure you can find it somewhere. In the citadels in the north of our isles. We bring him back and let's defeat this beast. Use my ladder in case any missing pit, pit blanks are blocking the way. Okay. So I need to poison, put in that well. I have a ladder now so I can back into the blacksmith. Hopefully, I can 
use the ladder more than once. Sting will give me five health and five luck. Uh, input horn, four health, three or one mana. Imp wings for one mana, shear wings for one luck. Those are all bad. This rupee's pretty good. Uh, five HP, five defense. I think I got that while I was grinding. And stolen helmets for four defense. So, how do I sell more? Should probably sort these out. Okay, I'm gonna go with the ruby. And then we'll put a helmet in there also. Okay, and then we can open this chest. Increases your luck permanently. Small store can increase your HP permanently. Should probably use those items. I saw this, but I was saving that for uh, if I get stuck on a boss, raises all my stats for 4 game hours, so that'd be nice to have. I'm actually going to use all of those for this character. Here's Trisha. Is this really true? You're planning a journey to your own? I'm so excited. I've been waiting such a long time for a chance like this. Please let me join you. I'm sure you won't regret it, I can accompany you on your whole journey. Well, I'm not that experienced in fighting yet, but I'm getting better and better. You will see my long range bow attacks are very useful. Thanks so much, Baldrin. Oh, take this key to the Thief Citadel to entry in the northwest. Just follow this path. One more of the thieves has lost this key. One of the thieves has lost the key somewhere around here recently. You finally found your first friend, an ally on Rainbow Moon. Your party has increased to two members, which allows you to adjust additional customizations. Open the menu and access the Group tab for the following options. Deployment lets you configure your default deployment position when entering battle mode. Only the standard attack deployment is available at the moment, but more can be unlocked at a later time. Uh, set leader, you can freely change your leader anytime. The leader is also the main character that you control during exploration. More characters like Lily join you join your journey. Can you find them all? Uh, court making cannot be used by everybody. Manage your battles well. Only the character that is given an enemy the killing strike will receive the rainbow pearls. So that sucks. Uh, rainbow pearls are required for racing. We know all that already. In other words, your characters that are currently dead or not in the party won't earn XP. That's not cool. What are these little plant things? That's weird. Uh. Oh well, I don't need the herbs that bad. Yeah, I do. I should probably get rid of them potion, pick up the herbs in case I need mana later on. I don't think this is going to work, but I'm going to try it. I'm going to try to go to... No. I'm going to try to go back to that, uh, that dungeon, see if this key will work on that door. Probably won't, but it's worth a shot. Oh, he's level 43. Yeah, I actually don't want anything to do with him right now. I, I never noticed that. So that's gonna be a while. So. <laughs> All right. Well, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a like. Leave, leave me any feedback in the comment section below. Um, next section, we will head towards the the next dungeon, the thieves' dungeon. Check out Trisha real quick.
wonder what her attack range is. She have any skills? She doesn't have anything. squares in front of her. Yeah. Damage is pretty good. So that's pretty cool. I could position her behind Baldrin. And Baldrin can melee and she can range and only Baldrin will get hit so I can kind of use him as a tank. And that could be pretty cool. Oh, does it have to be two squares? Well, that's weird. So I guess... I'd have to set up something like that, otherwise she can't attack at all. Okay. Alright. I'm going to go ahead and stop this video here, and I will see you the next time. Thanks for watching.